All right, I'm going to go over to how to create your tickets page. Um, so the first thing that we need to do is install a plugin called WooCommerce. So it's pretty darn easy. Just go to plugins, add new, and just search for the plugin WooCommerce. It's free and you'll get it up here as WooCommerce Excelling e-commerce. Click install. Yes. So we're going to install and activate it. So click activate. Once it's installed, we're going to want to click yes, install WooCommerce pages. And that's going to be your uh, index page of shop, your cart, your checkout. All those are created automatically for you. Um, so the next thing we want to do is go to our appearance and menus. And uh, up here under pages, you should have, like I mentioned, all these new pages and shop is going to be the shop index. So let's go ahead and add that to our menu just so that we can see um, how it works. So again, I'm gonna open this in a new tab so you have a site up here and then the back end over here. So um, let's go to shop and you have your shop and there's no products. So first things first, uh, in the live preview, we have this name tickets, not shop. So all you have to do is go to pages, find that shop page, and let's just call this tickets instead. So we'll update that and then refresh our site. Now we have tickets. Now to add each ticket is actually a product. So let's call this one a uh, sample ticket one. Let's add an image, click set featured image and set a featured image. And then we can add some content. Um, and then we can add a short description. And let's go and just publish this as is for now. And when we refresh, you'll have your ticket and a read more button since we haven't decided whether to actually use the e-commerce or not. So in the live preview, what we did was we just linked this straight over to Ticketmaster. And the way you do that is under, uh, while you edit your product, which is your ticket, you just use external link and you can link to whatever you want, any site. Let's just use Ticketmaster as an example. <clears throat> and so when we click that, it'll forward you to Ticketmaster. So if you're selling tickets on a different website, uh, that's how you would handle that. So um, let's go ahead and create another product and we'll call this one e-commerce product. Let's go ahead and set a featured image again, just like the other one. Set a featured image and this time we can set a price. So let's just say 55 euros and uh, let's add in a short description. I think in the live preview we have like parking pass included. So let's publish this and refresh our site. And now you have uh, an actual e-commerce one where you can add to cart if you would like or visit the actual product page. And this is where the, if you had a description it would pop up down there. A lot of control. Um, so uh, that is how to set those pages up. For tickets, you have a lot more options, so dig around there. I'm just going to cover one quick thing under home, and that's the tickets widget. And the way you add tickets to the home page is under appearance and widgets. And the widget you use is this highlight widget right here, highlight widget. Just throw that in, and it'll automatically, uh, oh, sorry, highlight widget, not timeline. Highlight widget and it automatically throws in the recent projects per page for you. And so if you refresh the page, it will automatically pull in those products for you. You can of course edit this uh, to pull in more than three and three columns or however you need to display this data. But that's how to um, add the tickets onto the home page. Now, you might be wondering how do I set it up for uh, widgets and there's a shop sidebar as well where you can use WooCommerce widgets there.